so I built this bike a while ago, but I hadn't finished it totally to my liking. And I wanted a bike that looked totally old school, but totally wasn't, was totally new school. And I didn't like the Haro Masters, like the, the Flatland Master, the 2017 or the 2018, because they were just too long for me. The rear ends were 13 inches or more. And I tried to tell people this, but a lot of street bikes, park bikes, have rear ends that are 12, 12.5 inches. It was just too long. It would have been awesome for me had they made them, you know, maybe a 19 inch top tube with a rear end that went from, you know, 12 inches to 13.5. Because usually the uh, axle slot's about an inch and a half long and they totally could have done that. So anyway, I got to work and I finally finished it the way I wanted this to be. And this is my 2013 St. Martin 10, 18.7 inch top tube that looks at first glance like a Haro Flatland Master, but totally isn't. And even with the OG Caramel 2 bars, those almost look like a, uh, a modernized version of knee savers. So it looks really good, especially with the chrome fork. Every part's picked for a reason and everything is set up right. With this one, I'll start with the rear. I'm rocking uh, Motel Works tires that I got from my friend Wes in a trade. And this is a wheel I built. It's a Federal Free Coaster with Odyssey spokes and a G-Sport rib cage rim. And the, the wheel is solid. This is like one of the, the nicest free coasters I've ever rode. And just the whole wheel just feels amazing for everything. There's like no flex, it's stiff as hell. The G-Sport rims are amazing, I love them. These are KHE Alchemist pegs with uh, steel backing washers that I put on there to make them stronger. This is a Odyssey Bluebird chain to profile 145 millimeter cranks and Odyssey Twisted PCs with a 18 tooth profile sprocket that works out really well. These are Odyssey Evo 2 brakes with ghost pads. And this is the only old school part on the bike. This is an old, like, late 90s Haro double seat clamp to an Odyssey convertible seat post with Odyssey convertible seat guts to a Mankind railed seat. And it, that works out perfect for me too, putting the seat in the position that it's in, in between the, the handlebars and the seat, especially for old school stuff. There's an Odyssey cable hanger, and then I'm using a mix of gyro, slick, M2, and linear slick cables on the entire brake system. And then up top, there's a pair of uh, older, really beat up ODI POW grips with par ends, and OG bars. OG caramel bars with an Odyssey TDFL front load stem. This one's 45 millimeters. An Odyssey compression cap. An Odyssey headset with a salt uh, gyro plate. And an Odyssey GTXR gyro. And then we've got another Odyssey Evo 2 front brake with ghost pads. And then the fork is uh, We The People Eco 450 fork that I took down to steel and then polished the hell out of it so it would look chrome. And there's a motel work tire in the front. These are both uh, twiggy tubes inside. With another wheel that I built, this is a G-Sport rollaway hub that I got from my friend Wes. Uh, Odyssey spokes, and that's a G-Sport roll cage rim. 
and then KHE Alchemist pegs in the front as well. These are Odyssey M2 and mono lever brakes. But the, the way the whole bike turned out, the look is exactly what I wanted. The way it feels is exactly what I wanted because I wanted it to look totally old at first glance but totally not be and have everything modern tech except for the seat post clamp of course but that's it this is my old new school build and I'm totally happy with it later